In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to change the shape of media. We have a similar tutorial, but in this one we'll go into a bit more detail and we'll be working with larger images. So I hope you find that helpful. I have on the screen the picture of a clip from a football game. And I'd like to make it look like this gentleman is watching not one screen, but two. So first of all, I'm going to, to take the fellow and drag the static picture of him and drop, drop him in track number three. That will be his head. He's watching the game. And in order for us to be able to see it more clearly, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And here he is watching uh, the particular game. But I need, I want him to watch two screens at once, as guys are wont to do. And so I'll, I'll click on, double click on the first image here. And we're going to change this a little bit. I'm going to resize it and make it a bit smaller. And then I'll move it to the left. Now I'm going to change its shape. Now you notice the, the white on the corners and in the center. But what we're going to work at is, is the blue. When I move my mouse on the upper left corner, I have a very small double-headed arrow. The top left corner of the video frame is the zero axis. It's zero, zero. The bottom right corner axis is one, one. So we're going to tilt the image a little bit. So what I'm going to do is uh, take the upper left, left area here and angle it forward toward him. A little bit we'll keep the same height and then we'll take the one over here um, on the bottom left and we'll angle it back about the same so we'll try to keep it somewhat parallel that's about right there so now it looks like this is a wall mounted image of some kind that he's watching I can move it later if I want to so there's one image I'm going to take this other image here of a fellow in the garage, drag it on the same track. Again, it will fill the screen. I'll double click on it. That gives me maximum control in my PIP designer. And so I'm going to go ahead and make that one smaller as well. And in this case, I will again move my uh, mouse to the line here. We'll tilt this one over forward a little bit. We'll go to the other corner, wait till we get the very small double-headed arrow on the blue, and we'll tilt this back uh, about the same amount. We'll move this down, make them level. OK, and I'll click on OK. Now we have uh, two different screens that the gentleman's viewing. I'll go ahead and click on Movie. And we'll do our, I'll make it a little bit larger so you can see the result better. I'll click on my play and he's watching the football game on the left side and watching the movie of the other on the right side. Again, it's a bit of a primitive example, but it shows you how you can take um, any media and change it in your PIP designer so that it's not perfectly square with the screen. And you have the opportunity to do this in any number of ways.